This is the Joby Wavo Plus. It's a small super cardioid directional microphone built for creators like you and me. It's designed to be, you know, attached to your camera like most vlog setups. And one thing that immediately caught my eye upon unboxing it is they included an adapter cable for a regular headphone jack and labeled it smartphone. In case you haven't guessed, yes, this microphone can be plugged directly into your smartphone for mobile content creation. Joby did send me this microphone to review, but this is not sponsored, no money change hands. If it's good, I'll tell you it's good. If it sucks, I'll tell you it sucks because that also gets a lot of views. So let's see if the Wavo Plus is worth your money. I'll rate it from one to 10 in four different categories or scenarios. Number one, vlogging. Number two, studio recording. Number three, audio quality. And finally, four, value. Let's look at the convenience of this from a smartphone video creator's perspective. Odds are, if you have an Android, you have a headphone jack and you could just plug it right in. If you've got an iPhone, of course, you're going to have to use one of these little adapters and uh, you're set to go. You're going to have to use some sort of cage system to attach the microphone to your smartphone. But once you're set there, you're talking massively improved audio quality coming out of your smartphone. I like vlogging with this mic for three reasons. One, it's small and light, so it's not going to bulk up your vlogging pack, especially if you travel. This is great. Two, it has a built in safety track. So if something explodes or something else really loud happens that you do have no control over whatsoever, you'll always have an audio track to go back to that's recorded at 10 decibels lower. Like that. That's a plane that's traveling really close. So it's really loud. So I got to start talking louder and now I'm going to go to the backup track. This is so important for vlogging because most of the time things that you're vlogging, you only get one shot at. So you want to make sure that you've got audio. And three, it automatically turns on when you turn your camera or smartphone on, which is great because you don't run the risk of filming an entire day and having not turned on your microphone. I've done that before. It's not fun. All of these features match the legendary Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, but the Wavo comes in at a cheaper price point, a smaller form factor, and it has an LED indicator light to let you know how much battery is left in the microphone, going from green to orange to red to, well, dead. In this category, I've got to give it a 10 out of 10 because it has every single feature that vlog creators need and then some. You can't ask for more. Back to that indicator light. Monitoring the battery level of the Wavo Plus is really important because there's no way to swap out its battery. However, it does get 30 hours of recording time on a full charge, which is plenty of battery life to vlog an entire weekend or to get up to three full day shoots in a studio. Putting up a boom pole and getting a mic like this as close to your talent as possible is the real key to getting great audio. The Wavo has a threaded bottom so it can be easily screwed into a boom pole, which honestly looks kind of funny because it's so short and stubby. There's plenty of jokes to be made about this form factor, but I am not going to. I think the most advantageous feature of this mic when it comes to studio recording is having the ability to monitor your live audio. Not every camera has a headphone jack that allows you to listen to the audio that's being captured by the camera while you're recording. The Wavo Plus skips the middleman and has a headphone input right at its base so that you can monitor all the audio coming into your camera through the mic microphone and make little adjustments on the fly. That way your ears can be focused on the audio and your eyes can be focused on getting the perfect shot. This obviously isn't just limited to studio recordings. It's a great feature when you're working in the field as well. But none of these features are worth anything if the audio quality itself isn't good. So I'm pinning it up against my current favorite microphone, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, so that we can really see where the Joby stacks up against some good competition. Up first, the Joby. I typed out this audio so the test would be basically the same. This is an audio quality test between the Joby Wavo Plus and the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Let me know if you can hear a difference in the comments below. I'm going to be honest, they are quite close. In my opinion, I still like the Rode better. It sounds a little bit crisper, a little bit cleaner. There's something about the Joby that just sounds a little bit more muffled, but it's very subtle. I'm gonna give you guys one more listen and then whichever one you prefer, leave a comment in the comment section below and whatever gets the most votes, I'm gonna use as my main microphone going forward. I typed out this audio so the test would be basically the same. This is an audio quality test between the Joby Wavo Plus and the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. 
Let me know if you can hear a difference in the comments below. Overall, I think I'll give this mic a seven out of 10 when it comes to quality. The Rode would be an eight out of 10 and then anything above like nine or 10 out of 10 would be when you get into the, the Sennheisers and those microphones that are like $1,000 and up. The fact that they're even coming close in and of itself is surprising to me because Rode is a well-known, well-established prosumer brand when it comes to audio and Joby's new at this. And the Wavo Plus at $200 costs $100 less than the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus when you buy them both brand new. So when you consider the strong audio quality and all of the features that are packed into such a small, like a, look at this, it's a tiny, tiny little package. I've got to give it a seven out of 10 in value. It's still a bit of an investment and it's got a kind of plasticky, small, lightweight build, but for content creators who are looking to up their audio game, I think this is an excellent option. Now, if you wanna see its competitor in action, you should check out this video where I review the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus here in 2024.